Appreciate that. Let's talk more about this and get even more perspective on the solar eclipse. Alfredo Viegas is president of the New York Amateur Astronomers Association. Alfredo with us now. Good to see you. You are a lifelong space nut. I understand your words and you gave me permission to use that. So what are your what are your thoughts on what will be a real rarity of a moment tomorrow? Well, I'm really excited. This will be my second eclipse. Uh, the first one, I took my family to Jackson Hole in 2017, and we had a great time. Uh, my kids stopped complaining after the eclipse. This was like the best experience, like the most awe-inspiring experience in their lives. So it was, it was, it was really, it was really amazing. Um, you know, for and for most of us, you have an experience of the eclipse, and you know, experiencing the eclipse that, and you're not in the path of totality is totally different. You really have to be in the path of totality to get the full experience and to get that sort of sublime, um, you know, uh, experience with the total, you know, darkness setting in and the, the, the quiet pall that sets across the setting, you know, the animals die down, the, the, even the insects die down. It's just an amazing experience. And as you, and as in your previous segment, you know, the, um, the temperature really drops when we were up in Jackson hole. I mean, I remember my teeth were chattering. That's how cold it got. It went from like 70 to like 45. Like Ooh, that was a space bigger. Space. That is a bigger drop than the ten degrees that most people Fahrenheit are supposed to expect. So you are in that path of totality, right? So you're positioned just right. Yeah, yeah. I'm up in Stowe with my wife, uh, and I got brought two of my little telescopes here that I'm going to use to uh, to capture uh, the uh, the sun and hopefully do a little bit of uh, amateur science as well. While I'm at it. Ah, so given that you have experienced at least one before, what are you telling your friends and family what to expect? How, you know, how are you kind of guiding them on how to prepare for the many phases leading up to uh, the, the total eclipse and then enjoying and engaging in the total eclipse when it happens for just four minutes? But it's going to be, you know, an extraordinary four minutes. Well, it depends how geeky you want to be, right? If you really <laughs> want to be a total geek, uh, well, you are a space you know, what you call like Bailey's so, Beads. Yeah. You know, Bailey's Beads is an amazing, amazing experience. It's basically when um, the, the lunar mountains effectively block out some of the additional light and you actually see these like bright spots. It's just, you have to have a kind of a telescope to see that, but that's really an amazing experience. I'm going to hope to capture that wow. on, on, on this setting. But I think my advice to people is don't overthink it because it's, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Um, and sometimes when you're, when, when you're, when you're being kind of you know stressed about or whatever, you're gonna you're gonna forget to look up. Just look up and experience it. I mean, it's you know it's a, it, the cosmos and the scale of the cosmos. Is this is one of these moments when you can you can almost commune with with all other humans. You know, it kind of really it really shows us where we are in, in the scope of the universe and in its vastness and in its intricate workings, right? And it kind of really brings us down to the basics of who we are as humans, right? And we can all share this. We can all get. You know, all the things that are bothering us and all the global conflicts and, and partisanships that we all have and all these issues that, that are plaguing humanity. And we can all kind of bond and really realize our insignificance in the vastness of the cosmos. It's oh, really so kind of one of these transcendent that's what experiences. Yeah. You, you were helping me feel at ease and I'm feeling a, a mm, moment right now just yeah. <laughs> by virtue of your words. I can send out. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, we're all looking forward to it tomorrow. And now even more so after hearing you speak, Alfredo Viegas, uh, thank you so much. Enjoy uh, tomorrow. It will be out of this world.